bacon, and I've chosen the uh, thick cut bacon. And we're simply going to, so you don't have to stand over a pan and fry each piece, we're gonna put it in the oven. And uh, this is just the Food City brand bacon. It's really good. I forgot to check to see if it was on sale today. I always try to give you guys a good insight on what's on sale. I like the thick cut, you know, especially for something special like your, an Easter brunch because it just gives you, um, it lays flatter, which is a, a good thing. And uh, it just, uh, I don't know, just gives a good, good little flavor here. So we're going to stick it in the oven. I think I got my oven. It may not be as hot. I don't know if my oven's going to be really magic tonight or not. We may have to. We may have to. We may have to pray over this tonight. I don't know. Okay. We'll just kind of. We'll move these around. I've overlapped a couple of pieces, but we can move them around when we get um, after the first little bake. So we're going to stick these in the oven for about 10 minutes. Is that what I said? Yeah. Just to kind of partially cook that. It may be, when you're using the thicker cut bacon, you may want to put it in a little bit longer, but um, you can judge that for yourself. Get that in there. Oops. Woo. For the um, topping, we're going to use some brown sugar and some chili powder. And I chose the pecan chips. You can toast them. I said if you want to... Chop your own pecans real fine. I, I like these, and I just mix these in with the um, brown sugar and um, chili powder because uh, I think my brown sugar is a little hard. Just sort of mix that up, and we're going to put that on the bacon after we've got it. Um, well, maybe we'll use that. I didn't have a chance to put, you know, uh, the, all the moisture comes out of brown sugar when you leave it out, or sometimes when your container is not completely sealed. And if you just put a piece of bread in there with your brown sugar or a roll or something, then it keeps it nice and moist. Okay. And of course, it's got a little flat fat in it, which we are going to drain off. You don't have to take this out of the pan. Now, I'm not going to mention that before they all stayed on the pan and watch them come flying off. Okay. Woo! So we're going to move them around a little bit since they've gotten a little bit. So we've got them all. They all have their own little space. And like I said, it takes a little bit longer for the thicker cut to cook. Okay, Our, I'm going to use this. This is the same thing as that, just what I used earlier. Okay, so this is the brown sugar, the chili powder, and the pecan chips. We're just going to put that on there. You're going to love this. This is so good. And then we're simply going to put this back in the oven. And it probably will take about another 10 minutes to cook that, but I like my bacon crisp. Okay. <laughs> you can have an extra roll tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know. <laughs> Let's hear it for Terry. Thank you. <laughs> One hundred of my ten thousand steps in. A hundred? I think I think that's a thousand all the way back there. That's way in the back of the back corner of the store. Ooh, that's okay. There's our bacon, and I like to sort of just leave it. We're going to drain it on some paper towel. I think I'm just going to push it up here for now until we're finished here. We'll kind of slant our pan 
So the grease all goes to the bottom of our bacon oven. Okay, now that looks wonderful. 